It all started with a little plastic string and a dream. Now, I didn't grow up in a wealthy family. I can still remember when I was younger as we drove through the neighborhood and saw all of these beautiful houses and the beautiful cars and all of my friends at school that had all of these awesome toys that we couldn't afford. And my entrepreneurial journey started when I was 10 years old and I wanted a bike for my birthday. My dad said it's fine and we went to the bike store and I can still remember the cold morning breeze and the, the scent of the rubber of the tires of all of the beautiful bikes as we walked into the store and I saw at the back of the store the most beautiful bike that I've ever seen. It had carbon at the back and orange in the front and I told my dad that's the one I want. That's the bike I want. And my dad went and he spoke to the salesperson and long story short we couldn't afford the bike that I wanted for my birthday. And that's when I started asking questions. Why can't we afford all of these things that the people around us had? And my dad gave me the best answer ever. He said, you know what, Albert, if you want to become a millionaire, you need to learn from a millionaire. And I started reading my first business book and then the next one and the next one until I started my first business. At 10 years old, I was selling these little plastic strings at school for a 50 cent markup. And the kids loved it and it went really well and it changed into a whole toy store and I was selling toys at school until the headmaster found out and he said, you know what, Albert, you can't sell toys at school. So I stood outside the school gate every day and sold toys to all of these kids at school. And I had a lot of other businesses straight through primary school. I painted street numbers on the street curbs, I mowed lawns, I washed cars, I cleaned rooms. In high school, I had a music school, I started selling all kinds of things like phones and laptops and playstations and bicycles, I even started buying and selling cars. I got into construction and with all of these businesses, and money that I put together, I bought my first property at the age of 19. At that stage, I went to study at the University of Pretoria and had an amazing time studying while I ran all of my businesses. I learned about people and responsibility and grit and pushing through the night to study for that test that I'm writing the next morning. And with my industrial engineering degree, I learned about law and accounting and processes and engineering. But the biggest lesson that I've learned while studying at Tux was problem solving and critical thinking. And at that stage, I combined this with my entrepreneurial spirit and experience, and that took everything to the next level. I ran my property as a commune for four years, and at age 22, I was a millionaire. I published my best-selling book, How to Become a Millionaire at 22, and before I knew it, I was on TV and on newspapers and on radio, and then I started traveling the country, speaking at schools and universities all across South Africa. And today, I live my dream. I have my businesses, I have my properties, and I'm living my passion and my purpose by enabling and empowering the youth and the people of South Africa to become financially independent so that they can make their own dreams a reality, so that you can make your dreams come true, just like I did with mine. My name is Albert van Weyck, and I'm telling you this story to show you that it is possible to start from wherever you are and make your dream a reality. It is possible to start by selling a plastic string at a 50 cent markup and end up with successful businesses and property portfolios. It is possible and it is possible for you. What are you going to do about it?